Yes, yes, hello and welcome. How are we doing today? Happy, uh, what is it, Wednesday? Happy Wednesday. Good to see ya. Um, oh, Still didn't make it on time. I don't know when I'll ever be on time again. <laughs> but, you know, I, uh, I'm here, and I'm queer, and, uh, we're gonna be playing some more Don't Starve Together. Yeah. Oh man, I slept awful last night. <laughs> Uh, part of why I think it was so hard for me to get up. Like, I was awake when my alarms went off, but I just turned them off and said, no, I need more sleep. Ugh, sleep was awful. But I am back, and hopefully uh, I'm waking up. How was your day? I'm waking up. <laughs> I'm a night owl, bold and true now. I go to bed at, like, 6 in the morning, and then I get up at, uh, what is it? I got up at like 2.30. <laughs> so my day just started. How was your day though? Good to see you, miss. Hello, hello. Know that I'm a little quiet? Just my mic a little bit closer. Maybe that'll work. <laughs> Maybe that'll be a little bit better. A little bit of a closer mic, a little bit more voice projection. Hopefully that'll be better. Yeah. Alrighty, so gonna pick up from where we left off. Uh let's see. I got some BGM to play. And we should be good. Alright, hopefully that that's audible. I did not do an audio test before I started today. Uh go figures, right? Alrighty, so, um, we are day 24, huh? Alright, so we're in winter, and I'm trying to think what I was going to do beforehand. I think I needed to go colophant hunting. Oh, and walrus hunting, right. Alright, so I got, I got a stack of meatballs with me for food. No healing, but that'll be okay. We do have log armor, though. I have my beefalo hat, and I still have a commander's helm. So I think we'll just warm up my thermal stone real quick, and then we'll head out. And walruses should be easy, because you yeah, have that wormhole right there, a green one, that'll bring us over here. And we got one, two, three walrus huts. Should be... Hopefully we'll get good uh, tusk luck, and maybe even a tam. Not that Wigfrey super duper needs a tam shanter, but I do, I do like having tams. Um, what do you call it for? Cave spelunking. Still quiet, but can hear. I shouldn't be quiet though. I don't know, maybe it's on your side or something because OBS shows me plenty loud. Alrighty. Um, up in this wormhole. Frozen. Hit you. Stop that. Knock out the little one. Ow. Hey, you better run. No tusk, of course. Just my luck. Go 
go? Hello, hello. What do you think, Hell Girl? How does my audio sound? Bum ba dum ba dum bum bum bum. Hello, hello. All right, well, bad luck on that one, but let's. We at least got three more to hit. Oh. Go, go, go. Ow. Ow. <laughs> hey, you better run. Get you. Get the little one. <laughs> You're running. Got him. Sound fine? Louder than the game so far? Okay, cool. Thank you, Hell Girl. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Oh, I just realized that my resolution's looking wrong. Whoopsie! My bad. I did know- I did forget to set this. I changed my monitor resolution, but I always have to set it differently and don't starve afterward. There we go. Resolution's fixed. <laughs> yeah, I started up a little fast. I didn't super duper double check all my stuff. But do appreciate you at least pointing out something if you thought it was weird, Myth. Hey, you know, hello, hello, welcome in. How do you do? Hope you're doing well. What? I'm, uh, just don't starving. Not starving, but I'm definitely getting hit by a, a lot of stuff. <laughs> getting bullied. Well, maybe I'm doing the bullying. Hey, there's a tusk. At least one of them dropped a tusk. No Tam, but we'll be back in a couple days. I'll be back. Doing better, foot cramps almost gone. Nice, heck yeah. You've been giving it a little bit of massages and stuff like that. Maybe... Um, a hot compress. Do you ever get like one of those little, uh, you should try getting, it's like, um, it's kind of like a cold pack. Oh gosh, hello. It's like a cold pack, but it also can be hot. I have one of those and it's great. Sometimes I either, um, I either put it in the freezer to cool off to be a cold pack, but sometimes if you just leave it out for a while, or if you run it under hot water for a while to thaw it out, you can also put it in the microwave, and it can heat up. It's great. Thank you for all the marble, good sir. Can you knock, knock some more of these out for me? I'm getting cold. Um, I'll have to set some fires. Okay, do I even have a porch? There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good thing these guys get uh, stun locked if they're in the middle of a charge when you hit them. Alright. Well, that gave us a little bit of warmth. With oil? Oh, cool. Nice, nice. Mm, didn't think about heating oil, but that is a thing. I forgot that, like, heating oil, like, oil that kind of warms up with body temp, um, is a thing people do alongside of, like, uh, what you call it, um, massages? I've had one professional, I've had one professional massage in my life. It was pretty good. I like, I like, mean, I definitely felt better. The massage therapist was uh, very good. Very polite. Though I can't say I fully reaped the benefits of it because uh, when I went to do it, it was after I threw out my back. <laughs> and um, although it definitely probably helped in terms of like pain and um, all the other stuff I was dealing with, I don't think anything was going to help me from 
feeling absolutely horrible with that. It was kind of expensive, though. Expensive enough for me to think that it's not really something I would do again. At least not without, like, it being a luxury thing or something, you know? I think he's number one Dargan in the West. Yeah. <laughs> Alive, awake, alert, enthusiastic. I think Hellgirl slept a bit better than me. Um, another reason why I feel like I slept really bad is because um, the neighbor... So th this was a problem last year. The neighbor very clearly has a lawnmower that isn't very good. Like, you can tell that it's a bit on its last legs. It probably shouldn't be used anymore. It's like a really old gas loan mower, I think. Um, and he'll just spend forever sitting there and just revving it. Like, for the longest time, I was just awake hearing the neighbor going, Vroom! 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 It was definitely a lawnmower. And, like, it would start up sometimes and start to rev, and then it would die again. And it's like, my god, you still have that crappy lawnmower from last year? Like, I think the last time that he got that lawnmower to work and lo mowed his lawn, I'm pretty sure it looked like it was smoking or something. <laughs> and it keeps dying midway through him, like, trying to mow the lawn. Meanwhile, cut to our lawnmower, which is electric and is not only extremely quiet by comparison, but also very reliable. Definitely, um, if you don't have an electric mow lawn, ugh, an electric lawn mower, I highly recommend it. We did okay, so we got the one walrus tusk. Uh, we got it some meat that we were able to bring home, which is good. Good, I'll feed, feed the monster meat to the bird, get us some eggs. I should make uh, some drying racks for beef jerky, that'd be good. Jerky will probably be one of the better ways of getting sanity back. Not that it's super bad to get sanity for Wigfried, because all she has to do is um, just fight stuff. But what does it need? Charcoal and rope. I don't think I... Yeah, I don't really have any grass. <sighs> and with the winter, grass is kind of annoying to get. Unless I go underground. I could pick grass underground as an option. I need to collect more twigs and grass tufts for the garden anyway. So maybe I'll go colophant hunting. I'll go colophant hunting and I'll dig up some saplings and everything for the base. Grab my shovel. I got materials to make another shovel. And be good enough. I should fight the Eye of Terror when I can too, I think. So I'll take the Terrarium with me. When it's nighttime, I'll do the I'll like fight it or something. And with a bit of what I've got, maybe I can make some pierogi for healing. Healing's not really an issue with me, but if I get hit a lot without hitting back enough, I'm gonna want it. I'll make a little bit. Thanks for the pet, Smith. Let's see. With this pumpkin, we should make a scarecrow before I forget. But doesn't the scarecrow need a bunch of rope? No, it only needs three grass, so that's easy. And I should have boards. I have some wood. I'm gonna need to chop too. So do some chop chopping. 
Where are you going? There we go. Oh yeah, as for the insight thing that was going on last night, because um, it kept bothering me to uh, get insight for Wigfried. I finally got that resolved. Um, I went into my creative mode file last night, and um, all I did is I gave the character the six battle calls in my inventory, and it unlocked this last thingy real quick. So I won't have to worry about trying to craft them now. And um, so I bought that skill point, and I decided to just go go along with um, buying Encore as well. So I have all my insight uh, put away. Um, later, eventually, I'm going to have to reset and redo my insight, and then I think I'm going to buy the Shadow Chan uh, Shadow Chantus. How do you say this word? Hold on. Chantuz. 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 Okay, the Shadow Chantuz. What's this language from French? I thought so. The French word. So we'll learn the Shadow Chantuz, and um, we'll do that. Where technically it gives you the Dark Lament. Lam dark Lament. So we'll do that. Do you know the cheepy cheepy mean? No, I do not. What is it? Cheep cheep? <clears throat> like this watermelon is done. That dragon fruit, I know I don't want to eat it. Um, in case Cat decides to rejoin, I know they'll likely want it for a salamander so I'll stick it in the fridge for however long I need to and then I'll probably um if it starts to rot I'll turn it into seed all right looks like I should probably get to fighting I have terror real quick since that's what's going on touch all right Go! I have terror. Oh, that's right. I think you just naturally get a light when you do this fight. Come at me, bro. Let's do it. Hello. Uh, hold on. Where's my spear? There. I want to be able to switch between my walking king and the spear quickly. Take out the ad. Stop laying eggs. Oh yeah, you angy. Woo! Don't, don't, don't. Ah! Woo! Oh, not over there. Come on. Ow. No, the boat! It broke my boat! Oh my god, you prick! <laughs> okay. I don't have a boat patch. <laughs> and I definitely, I definitely... <laughs> that sucks. Whatever. It's because I don't... You need, like, a heckin... You need... Um... Bee stingers to make a boat patch. But it's winter, so all the bees are hibernating, and I did not pick one up. So that boat's gonna sink. Alright, whatever. Sometimes you just lose that life, I guess. Where's my lantern? Well, we got these milky whites. Which I think are supposed- it's like a dairy thingy. How do you even make ice cream? What is- hold on. So if I go here. This is an ingredient for ice cream. Honey. Of course, I don't have any honey because it's my first winter so I haven't even bothered trying to do it. I don't really have a use for these right now. Which is kind of a bummer. Because like, that's a really good, um... 
dairy source, since dairy is actually really hard to attain in this game. Whatever. Whatever. My thermal stone's losing a lot of its durability. I got more penguins sitting at my house now. <sighs> See, I have some hound's teeth and silk to make. Um, a sewing kit, at least. And we got the eye mask. I don't really need an eye mask for Wigfried because of her helmet stuff, but it'll sit there. And then uh, let's fix our thermal stone. Gosh, I don't have... I'm gonna have to make more boxes at some point. The penguining. It feels like that. Oops, I didn't mean to eat that. My how my home is being assaulted by penguins. I guess that makes for easy mining. Because I'm gonna need a fair amount of ice before winter's over. That way we can get our fling flingomatics all prepared and made. And ice is a good filler for certain recipes. Keep that dragon fruit set aside for a while. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna make a few more meatballs for the road. all the corn because I'd like to be able to grow some corn um, later because it's a decent summer crop. So I'll turn those into seeds. Put them away. I won't have to do a lot of gardening as Wigfried. All of it's mostly just going to be filler for my meat recipes. Alrighty. Uh, with all that situated... Um, let's head on out, I think. Leave this here until I make a sculpting thingy. Alright, um, as for ow, walrus hunt- or, er, uh, colfant hunting. Looks like there's a fair amount of saplings and grass all to the north of me. So, I guess I'll go out and dig those. And we'll just kind of keep an eye out for suspicious dirt piles. And at some point I'd like to... Well, I don't know. I don't know if I want to domesticate a beefalo before spring or not, because... Um, beefaloes, they only don't stop going into heat if they've been fully domesticated. So if I have a partially domesticated beefalo at my base, it's going to have babies. And it's going to keep having babies. And beefalo grow up fast enough in this game to where um, the babies will be adults before the end of spring, and then they'll have babies, and then I'm gonna have a massive beefalo herd nearby, which probably in theory is a bad thing, but I don't want to deal with it. So... 
Um, I might wait for a while before I uh, adopt us a beefalo. I don't know. It's just annoying. Circle of life. <sighs> and it's annoying. I don't know why, but I got a cramp in my half muscle. Maybe this is like leftover cramping from when I went cycling. I wasn't super sore after I went on a bicycle trip, but I think it's one of those things where it's like sore now, long after the fact, instead of like the day after or something. You ever get that? You ever get muscle soreness like um, a few days after uh, exercising? Need to do it again, maybe tomorrow. I don't know, we'll see. There are more. Already got 10 saplings. I don't know how many I need total. I think I've grabbed 10 before, so if I grab five more, that'll be 25 saplings, which I think was enough. There's a sinkhole here. Is this the nearest sinkhole to where I live? It might be. I think this is the closest sinkhole I live next to. So maybe I'll go down here real quick and we'll get some labels. There's a tent down here. Oh, this must have been uh, cats when they were spelunking. All right, I'm gonna label this one as home. And marsh. Oh yeah, the marsh one goes to the rabbit village. Okay. I'll grab some of these. Cheepy chappa chappa? What is that from? Is it like a song? Or is it just a meme? I think I hear spiders in the distance. I definitely hear spiders. Grab some light bulbs for home as well. Since the ones in my fridge were starting to go kind of bad. And we're getting cold. I'll grab this one and then we'll head above ground. Definitely going to need um get a coal vent coat, help us retain a bit of our heat better. Odd noise. Let me check that out real quick.
All right, I'm back. <laughs> Sorry about that. I um, yeah, it was just a lawnmower, but after I got up, I uh, did some leg stretches and I got myself some ibuprofen. <laughs> and uh, how, oh, excuse me, how girl showed me, um, whatever that little meme was. <laughs> Uh, chippy chippy chappa chappa dooby dooby dabba dabba <laughs> whatever that was <laughs> oh. all right oh okay. wait oh that's why I'm getting cold so fast I forgot to pick up my thermal stone that makes sense figures I'd forget it I always forget something. Alright, um... Animal fact about cats. Any cat? Cat cat? Hmm. Something specifically about cats. <sighs> Any cat. <clears throat> um, I learned yesterday that uh, cheetahs are actually a bit more of a bit more familial than um, what it, some folks might think. So when a lot of people thinks about when a lot of people think about cats in the savanna and stuff like that, they usually think about lions and their packs and stuff like that. Their large prides. But cheetahs also sometimes live in small groups of like two, like either two or threes. Um, and a lot of times if you see two cheetahs together, they're usually either siblings. They're usually siblings. And a lot of times uh, the females will sit together in groups like sisters or maybe a niece and an aunt. And like most cats, Cheetahs also do a uh, communal raising of their young. So cats are communal raisers of their families. Like if you have two mother cats with a litter, a lot of times they will rear and raise their litters together in tandem. Um, they'll combine litters and the, the kits will feed from either mother. It doesn't really matter who, because they're just um, mothering them together. And that applies to cheetahs as well. As far as uh, cats go, cheetahs are kind of a bit more anxious. They, they deal with a lot of anxiety and stuff like that. So when cheetahs are in captivity, a lot of times um, their caregivers will actually have a lot of hands-on close time with them because they're not the type like, obviously any large cat, well, cheetahs aren't large cats, but any large carnivore is always a bit of a danger, so you shouldn't mess with them too much. But as far as cheetahs go, um, they're not really ambush predators the way lions and leopards and stuff are, or tigers. They're more sprinters and they chase down their prey. So, uh, caregivers tend to be at least quote unquote somewhat more safe having close relationships with uh, their cheetahs in captivity and stuff like that. So a lot of breeding programs that um, breed and release cheetah cubs into the wild, like after they're old enough to be on their own and all that, um, it's not uncommon for a lot of these cheetahs to be very hands-on raised by humans growing up. Even though they're technically a bit tame, they apparently tame cheetahs, quote unquote. Still do relative like they still do really well in the wild. Oh, hi, tree guard. Okay. I don't really need living logs, but let's go. There, a little bit closer out so where I can see ya. Bonk, 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 bonk.
There we go. Easy peasy. She just loves nap piles. I think all cats do. <laughs> all cats love to just nap in a giant pile. Yeah, I've definitely seen videos of uh, caregivers sleeping in um, in enclosures with the cheetahs at night and stuff like that to act as like a um, almost like a teddy bear, basically. <laughs> Um, sometimes to help them accommodate or become used to a new environment if they've been transferred to a new location. Um, being there with them kind of helps with their anxiety. They're really cool cats. Their purrs are also really cute. Because uh, Cheetah's purr, which is part of what defines them as a small cat as opposed to a big cat, and their purrs are actually really adorable. It's kind of like just like any other cat purr, but just, you know, bigger. And they have this cute little merp sound they make when they call their uh, cubs over and stuff like that. I was watching stuff like that with uh, Seymour yesterday that made me think about all this. <laughs> bad I want a nap pile of cheetah since I love love laps or nap or naps I mean it's not weird but um unlikely to happen <laughs> a lot of the caregivers who have close relationships with cheetahs like that tend to be it's because they raised them or something like that but as far as big cats go that is the uh the least likely to kill you <laughs> Still always important to respect your uh, wildlife, though. Uh, trying to see in spots where these trees were done and ready for chopping. Oh yeah, a lot of the trees are all getting ready for chopping right now. Handy dandy. Need the wood. Oh, speaking of chopping, whatever extra pine cones I get, I should probably set up a, a place for fighting deer clops. I should set up deer clops to uh, trample down a bunch of trees. That way we'll be able to get a lot of wood without having to do all this labor. Forgot to look up how to do a goat farm. Oh, that rabbit going for the asparagus soup? I don't need it. You can have it, bunny. <laughs> Pretty sure that bunny came from the Presta Hattitator. I don't think it has a burrow anywhere. Is that all the spots for the trees to be planted? I think so.
Right, good, good. Got a lot more wood. I do have to get more grass tufts. Sure, still yet. This watermelon's done, and that'll be all the wild crops all harvested. Hmm. Alright, well, I still have to go colophant hunting, so... Put this axe away. If we fight deer clops anywhere, where should I do it? Somewhere I could at least run away enough, far enough to not them spawning in and causing trouble. Too much trouble, at least. I could just sprint up that way. Not a bad idea, I suppose. Although it could go after the cat coon houses, and that's not fun. Maybe we'll just kind of set up in the forest down here or something like that. That could work. So I'll make a bonfire down there. Oh my god, I have like no rocks. <laughs> I didn't realize I didn't have a, a lot of rocks at all. Oh. Okay. I got a lot of work ahead of me. We got some resource farming to do. There's a dirt pile. All right, where you go? Down? Let's go. Snag ourselves a coal fent. I'm so bad at looking for the dirt piles in all these trees. Get the camera around. There we go. And dead away. That away. Oh, how many penguins? All penguins year round. Well, not year round, but <laughs> there's a lot of them in this area, this region. They're all just hopping out, making their little ice homes. I forgot my thermal stone again, <laughs> but I, like I know it's considered like a better strat to put it down when you're not using it and stuff like that. But like, I will always forget to pick it back up if I don't keep it in my inventory. There you are. Hold on. Drop that. I see you. Easy peasy. That's some meat. Really just ran in a circle around base for that one. A brown gravy tastes good on a burger? Like, like a hamburger or like a burger patty on a plate? <laughs> if it's a burger patty on a plate, sure, but on a hamburger to hold and eat with your hands? That'd be way too messy. Yeah, that'd be way too messy. Sounds like a sloppy joe. I don't like sloppy joes. She had half out of here. Being rude. I mean, I would try it. It'd be pretty messy. 
I mean, when I think about gravy on burger, I think about like Salisbury steaks. Well, with this colfant trunk, we can now uh, make us a coat. I think that coat is just what? Silk and a bit of beefalo fur? Nice. Puffy vest acquired. See, this log suit's getting kind of down in the dump, so we're gonna make a new one, I think. updated log suit. Bit of our food. Just gonna cook some of this meat that was starting to kind of go badish. Always become stuffed eggplant if you use even a bit of eggplant. Kind of dumb. Okay, I think I want to save the onion because onions and uh, beet or leafy meat I think makes like this leafy meat burger thing. So we'll hold on to the onions for sure. That'll be a good recipe for me for later. But for the most part, I plan to mostly... Wigfrey doesn't eat a lot of veggies, like at all. So we're gonna focus on me, on um, probably mostly carrots. And carrots, potatoes, garlic, and corn. Corn's good for the summer. How many seeds do we have of a bunch of these other types? Omaru, a little bit. Could use more pumpkin seeds. We have plenty of corn, carrots, and potatoes though, so I'm gonna turn these pumpkins into seeds. That should be good. This way. Alright, grab my thermal stone. Alright, now that we got the puffy vest, I think the walrus would have respawned by now. We're gonna go hunt some walrus. I'm gonna try and mine out some rocks too while I'm over there and get enough rocks for, um, what you would call it, a fire pit. Because we're gonna have to fight deer clops tomorrow night, which should be fine. Deer clops is easy peasy. A Salisbury steak burger. I do like Salisbury steak. What do you think about this? A cut Salisbury steak into cubes and put in mac and cheese? Uh, probably not for me. I don't like- I actually don't like a lot of stuff in my mac and cheese. Um, because a lot of people will put stuff in it, but personally for me, I don't like anything in my mac. I think it's because it kind of changes the consistency of like how it feels to chew. And I don't like mac and cheese that has like suddenly different textures in it. Like I've eaten broccoli and mac and cheese and I didn't hate it, but I don't prefer it either, you know? Give me all you got. Lame. Getting my bad drop look again. Do 
but you can't just eat mac and cheese alone. Maybe, it'll, or maybe it'll taste good. Well, I usually <laughs> eat mac and cheese alone. Oh boy. Do I, have I ever just for dinner had just a bowl of mac and cheese? <laughs> Breakfast, uh, it's the dinner of uh, champions. Now, when I eat mac and cheese, my favorite side to have with it is usually like hot dogs. I like to, I like lettuce dogs actually. You ever put? Here's the thing for you: put lettuce in your hot dog. I promise you, it's really good. People make fun of me and say lettuce dogs sound bad, but it's actually really good. Cause um, I'm not a big meat eater myself. I don't eat meat very much. Like I will, but it's not like a, I don't know. I don't eat a lot of meat just because of flavor and stuff. I'm just in, in, ambiv ambiguous, ambivalent to it. Cause that's the word for it. <laughs> um, I like to have greens with a lot of stuff that has meat heavy. So putting lettuce in the hot dog adds like a little bit of like a watery crunch. It's best with actually iceberg lettuce for the hot dog because it just adds a bit of, like I said, the watery crunch along with the savory meat. Makes it satisfying. I mean, people put relish in their hot dogs. Is putting lettuce in the hot dog instead of relish really all that different? But I'm also kind of the weirdo who doesn't put anything else in my hot dogs. Because I don't like a lot of sauces. I don't like ketchup. And I don't like mustard. I'm boring like that. So my hot dogs are the naked dog with some lettuce. <laughs> All right. Last one. Oh, hey, I got a Tamo. I didn't even notice. Ow. I didn't even notice I got a Tamo Shanter. Heck yeah. Ow. Gosh. That would suck. Yeah. Oh. Ow. Too dark. Hmm. I need to get a lantern hat or a lantern hat. I get a lantern hat. I will chase you as far as I have to, old man. Hold on. Get him! Get him! <laughs> ah! God, why am I like this? Ah! If I get... Maybe the spiders will get him. <laughs> if I get, um... A light hat, or the, the miner's hat, I won't have to deal with this. That's honestly my biggest problem right now. Ow! God! It's because I have to hold a light, but I can't switch to throw the boomerang. Where'd he go? Finally, it's daytime. There he is. Oh, stupid. There, he died. Ow! I don't think he dropped anything good, though. Oh, no! Yeah, that doesn't look good. Especially now that I'm getting cold again. I'm definitely gonna have to make a lantern hat. I want to at least have the option. What about melted cheese? I've had cheese on my hot dog before, uh, before for sure. I don't dislike it. But if I'm having mac and cheese as a side, then I don't want to put cheese on the hot dog. Otherwise, that's a lot of cheese. Apparently, there's a lot of spiders out here. Huh? Oh my goodness! Yalor! Hello, hello! Welcome in! Howdy do? Uh, <laughs> good to see ya. Welcome in, everyone. Uh, if anyone's new here, I'm Pinky. I'm a Dragon VTuber, and I like to play RPG and simulation games. 
And right now, I'm doing a casual survival run in uh, Don't Starve Together. Yeah, hello, hello, and welcome. Let me get you your shout out. All right, you were playing Sarge's. What is Sarge's? Do tell. Also, get all that. Yeah. But yeah, good to see ya. Hope you had a good stream. Feel free to stick around and chat a little bit if you want. But if you also want to uh, get your post-stream cooldown stuff, no pressure. It's always important to get your post-stream cooldown. Your, uh, ah! your, uh, your drinkies, your sleepies, and your stretchies. Uh, demo games. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think I remember seeing that you've, uh, you do demo games and stuff like that sometimes. Look at that. Look free just tanks everything. She's stupidly OP. Broke all my armor, though. <laughs> um, win the smurf. <laughs> Hello. Thank you so much for the follow. A sailing adventure game. Oh, nice, nice. Heck yeah. Did you, uh, discover anything interesting? Any interesting world building and whatnot? God, I'm gonna have to go home and recraft a bunch of stuff. Especially since Deerclops is happening tonight. I'm not prepared anymore. I smashed through all my armor like that. I have to skedaddle my butt home, make some craft some armor and weapons, and then Um prepare for Deerclops. Ugh, it took a little bit longer than I needed to. Got distracted trying to chase after that stupid walrus. Looking for the Pyramids of Giza? Oh, Oh, cool. Like... On an ocean? I thought... I thought the Pyramids were... Wait, is it near a port? I can't remember. I don't actually know much about... Is the city next to the Pyramids called Giza? Not that there's a lot of adventuring to be have there. You ever see pictures of how close the city is to the Pyramids? Like, you can just see the Pyramids from, like the local McDonald's or something like that. <laughs> you sail but you go on horseback for inland cities. Oh, horseback. Was it a um a different like time era kind of game? Battle spear and what is that? Marble and wool. Ah! Alright, got that made. Let me put away all this stuff really fast. I'm on a time crunch. Good enough. Alright, if I'm gonna fight Deer Clops, I'll kind of do it in this little zone down here, I think. This should be fine. Get that fire pit build and should be far enough from the base to be good. I hope so. All right. In the past, about 1800s. Oh, I see. Cool. Well, I hope you had fun. Hope you had a good stream. Like I said, feel free to uh, stretch out, eat some food and all that good stuff if you need to. And yeah, thank you so much for the raid. I'm um, waiting for Deer Clops because she attacks on the night of day 30. Oh, ah, I'm gonna chill out here real quick for a little bit. Because if I'm at her base, if I'm at my base when she spawns, she'll attack the base itself and destroy my stuff. So <laughs> I'm um, gonna have to fight her a little bit further away. Gotta 
Wait through the night. She'll attack before morning. Let's see. Um, well, we got a Tam. I only found one walrus tusk so far, so... Um, I'll have to fight- I'll have to go walrus hunting at least one more time before winter's over. And... And I also need to harvest more ice. The ice is less sensitive because it sticks around after spring, but the walrus pack up and leave on the first day of spring. And after we hit spring, we're gonna go... do a lot of goose hunting. It's gonna be open season for moose goose. So, I'll have to kill as many of them as I can for their feathers. Waiting on deer clubs. Oh, I hear the breathing. You always know she's on her way because you'll hear... You'll hear the rumbling roar. She breathes really loud. Where the foe approaches. Your Clops is from Terraria, right? I haven't actually played Terraria before. I know a lot of people say it's great, but I'm just not really sure if it's my style. Alright. She's up, up there. Hello! Ow. Alright, I'm gonna try and encourage her to walk on some trees so she can, um, get me some logs and stuff. Step on a few trees. It's not as easy to get herd of walk on trees as it is like Berger. But it's not all bad. Ooh, that little close there. Ow, that one still got me. If I was a little smarter, I would have had the line set up, but eh, I wasn't exactly sure where I was gonna fight her right away. This this works. This is fine. She'll at least clear the area for me, so next time I'll actually be able to get some uh, trees lined up for fighting. It'll be set up for Berger for sure in autumn. The spindly legs aren't hitting the trees! Oh, I think I hear dogs coming. That's not fun. All right, let's take her out. Oh, hey, a tree guard. Is that tree guard gonna fight? Gonna, gonna attack? She was trumping trees, so the tree guard's gonna wanna fight. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Too bad tree guards are vulnerable to her ice attack. So. This'll kill her nice and fast, though. And dead. Oh, there's the hounds. Ow! Oop, I didn't- I was about to attack the tree card. <laughs> Shoot, ow! Oh, that's looking bad. I think the hounds will attack the tree guard. <laughs> I know they're- they- they- they de-aggro sometimes, and they go to, like, uh, attack other things. <laughs> yeah, they're attacking the tree guard funny. Ow. There we go. Well, the tree killed two dogs. Thank you for your great service. Unfortunately, I also want your logs. Demeter would be proud. And I'm getting a bunch of healing back for this. Fantastic. Gotta go. That's all right. Thanks for being here, Myth. Have a good rest of your day. Happy Wednesday. You're halfway to the weekend. Hey, Gil. Thank you for lurking. All right. Can reap all the goody rewards of Deer Clops' tromping around.
wonder if, uh, I wonder where this tentacle spike came from. I wonder if Cat dropped it. That 100%, so sure, take it. Bring it to base. Yeah, and thank you too for lurking, you lore. Oh yeah, this extra spear over here too. Leave it be for now. Now if I was really smart, I'd go and fight some goats and hopefully get some horns. Because um, springtime, um, when all the enemies are wet from all the spring rain, they, um, what do you call it? They take extra damage from electricity. And you can use the goat horns to make an electric weapon. But I'm really bad at keeping up with doing goat hunting and all that stuff. And I forgot to look up how to set up a goat farm. But at least with all these logs, I won't have to worry about chopping trees for a while. Saves a bit of time. And it's full moon tonight. Do we have enough nightmare fuel to make Chester Shadow Chester? No, we only have three. Bummer. Oh well. Is what it is. Got more meat! Some stuff is starting to go stale, like the tomatoes. I think the tomatoes are worth uh, preserving. Because, um, although Wigfried won't eat it, the spicy vegetable stinger is a really good sanity food. So, good to at least keep in case anyone else ever wants it. Mm-hmm. So, got tons of monster meat for the bird. Oh, I should dress up the scarecrow. Um, let's give you let's give you Woody's outfit. Got Woody's um Year of the Varg outfit. I absolutely love it. It's one of my favorites. I think the Year of the Varg series is one of my all-time favorites in this game. I um definitely I'd probably want to buy the uh, the pack, the big pack, where it has all of them for all the characters. Hold on, Seymour's here. That's that's nice, sweetie. <laughs> Hello, I love you too. <laughs> Poked his head in here to show me uh, a silly cat picture. Get all this organized. We are good on wood. Full moon, so we don't have to worry about um, light tonight. Oh, for the sketches, I should probably get the um, sculpting table built. Wooden boards and two cut stone. Oh, I don't know if I have enough to make cut stone. This too, though, right? There we go. Alright. And then we'll get these put away. Now... Um... thinking. I'll just drop this tentacle here. The bit of this extra wood, I think I can make some more chests for the base. Organize our base a little bit better. One, two, four, five.
and as soon as I'm not feeling like I'm running around like crazy, I'll have to get some mini signs built for um, organization so I can uh, label what goes in where. We'll get there. Right now it's going to be a little messy until I can get that far. I'm going to put tools and supplies in that chest up above. And this will just be full of miscellaneous. Hmm. Oh yeah, I should make a canister too for holding songs. That'll be upcoming. That's mostly tools in combat. And gonna head to the house and work on it? Okay. Um Nox energy. If any of you decide to go to the store or something, we do need stuff. We need like cat litter. And uh coffee. I'm almost out of coffee. Alright, so to make the deer clops. Umbrella, I'm gonna need bones. And I have no bones. <gasps> Just like Dinky, no bones. So I'm gonna have to grab a hammer. I'm gonna gonna have to head out and probably smash some stuff and get some bones for that. It's gonna cost a lot of sticks too, and it's not like I have a lot of sticks. So I'm gonna get my butt in gear. Let's cook some more meatballs real quick. Potatoes are going to start going stale, so let's get those out of here. How much garlic seeds do we have in the fridge? None? Alright, I'm definitely going to want to turn the garlics into seeds, because garlic is great. Garlic is year-round. I think when spring comes, I'll actually do some gardening. I don't really want to save the eggplant though. You put too much eggplant in anything, it'll just try to turn it into um, the stuffed eggplant or whatever, and Wigfried won't eat that. So I'm content not really keeping the eggplant around. I don't expect to really get low health or anything, so I'm not going to worry about pierogies, but we'll take meatballs and bacon and eggs for the road, I think. Three meatballs should be enough. So when those are done cooking, get them put away, and then we're gonna move our move our butts out of here. Gotta go, go, go. I don't think the walrus will respawn quite yet. So, um, hmm. I guess for bones, maybe I'll just head to the desert. We're, the oasis has already been discovered, which is good, but if I head to the desert, I can find bones and I'll go after the goats. I think that sounds like a good idea. And maybe I'll do some mining of rocks too, since we don't have a lot of rock. So I think we'll be able to knock out a lot of chores all at once over there. Um, get some ice real quick too. to grab the rock and we're good to go um is there a fast wormhole to the desert 
Not really. I could build a boat bridge right here, though. From... So we can just run south and be immediately at the desert. I'm gonna do that. This world's actually not that bad when it comes to, like, building... Like, there's a lot of areas that are kind of close so you can build bridges. To, um, get between... Biomes quickly. I like this map generation. It's a good one. Thanks for lurking, hell girl. Good luck on the house. And we can just build a boat bridge right here. And then we have access to the desert. Easy peasy. Get our rocks and our bones. I wonder if I should also be boomeranging um, crows as I see them too, considering um, I'm going to have to get crow feathers to make all the feather pencils to label my chest and stuff. I have to do a bit of that as well, huh? This should be a really good resource trip once we're all done here. And four days left of winter. Hmm. I don't know when the walrus are going to respawn. They attacked them on what? It was... I killed the last one on the day, at the beginning of day 30, didn't I? So they should have respawned by now, I guess. But we'll finish this trip and then I think it'll be our last walrus run. but I'm gonna need to find more bones. stacks of rocks. Good, good. I'm probably gonna want a lot of them though soon though. Or I'm probably gonna want a lot because I'm gonna have to turf the base here. And um, I'm gonna turf the base. I'm gonna mostly be using stone I think because I'm gonna do cobblestone on the outsides. What are we gonna put on the inside for now temporarily? I know end game. I know what I want because I want to do the cult of the lamb flooring and stuff. I want to do a bit of uh, gold tiling, and then the cult of the lamb. Cult, cult, not cult. Cult of the lamb 
bricking and whatnot. So it's gonna be a lot of rocks and stuff. I'm gonna need more gold too. Technically I could steal because I won't be able to get the I won't be able to get those recipes until summer when we fight Antlion. So I'll have to use some temporary stuff. I could use temporary carpet flooring. I think I was going to mix it with lush carpet, wasn't I? I guess I could craft some lush carpet, which is what? Beef loafer for the most part? Is it a lot of beef loafer? Maybe I'll have to shave some more. Right, how many bones do I need for the eyeball? Eyebrella? Only four? Oh, that's a lot less than I thought, but now I'm low on sticks. <laughs> they did all the mining. Such as it is with this game, the resource grind never ends. <laughs> ah! Goodness. Hi, chicken! Hey, hi! Thank you for lurking! Oh, hey! Skeleton! That's some free extra bones. And a free pickaxe. I'll take it. I don't- I think I remember the skeleton. I got space for that pickaxe now. I'll use it. It's free. I want to keep crafting more pickaxes for uh stuff because that's going to waste a lot of sticks. I'll have to get a bunch of gold and start doing gold weapons or gold tools soon. Reduce how many sticks I'm using. Hey cat. Hello. Hello. Welcome in. <laughs> I'm late. Oh, that's okay. How do you do? Welcome in. I um... Towards the end of winter, I uh, beat up deer clops nice and good. And um, I got her to run over a bunch of trees, so I got some wood and all that stuff. I'm working on collecting bones and rocks and stuff. And I might as well hunt one more colophant before winter ends. Yeah, good to see you. How's your uh, Wednesday going so far? I'm gonna pick up a second cane. I did. I have been doing walrus hunting, and I did get one more tusk. <laughs> my, my luck hasn't been super great. I got one tusk so far. But I did get a tam shanter but only one. Um, after I was gonna head home, I was gonna do one more walrus hunt before the season's up. Alright, where does this go? Beefalo. Oh, you go way over there. I don't need to go there. All right. Warm up real quick, and then we're gonna skedaddle home. Yeah, woo! Ah. <sighs> Thankfully, this world gen does have three walrus. It, it's kind of funny. This one has like three walrus houses. In fact, I think it has four. There's probably another one somewhere around here. Yeah, there's another one right up there. Actually, I'm gonna go attack them real quick. Yeah, welcome in. Thank glad to see you join. Um, there's a bee- oh yeah, I think if you still have your beefalo hat, if you don't, there's definitely one in the chest. But I'm gonna go beat up this walrus here, and then there's the other three you can go fight. And with this uh, puffy vest, or with this walrus tusk, or no. Elephant tusk to be able to make another puffy vest. Oh. 
No tusk. That's so annoying. I want another one because I want to be able to make a, um, a beefalo brush. Alright, fastest way home. Well, I could stop by the marsh. If you want to hunt the walrus, you can. If I stop at the marsh, I can get some tentacle spots maybe, if I'm lucky. And make raincoats. Oh yeah, I kept your dragon fruit too. That's still in the fridge. We have glomer? Should have glomer. Where's my lantern? There you are. Have uh, summon a second declops. Oh, I mean, oh, you're right. Isn't it called a hostile flare? Yeah, we could totally do that if you want, so we can get another eyeball. I'm down. Like eyebrows more than Tams anyway. True. But I wanted the other tusk. <laughs> I wanted more tusks. Alright, I'll uh I'll run my way home then. Got one? Alrighty. I'm on my way. 60%-ish chance. I'm sure we'll be fine. I've been holding I usually hoard the glomer goop because I like to use it for fueling uh, flingomatics in the spring or summer. I made a fire pit um, south of the base. That's where I was fighting um, Deer Clops earlier. So we could always just fight her there again because I was having her tromp all over trees, but um, with you, we probably won't have to worry about, or we don't have to tromp any more trees. So you don't have to worry about your sanity and stuff because you've got a fair amount of logs, I think. And um, how many bird feathers do I got? Three. I'm gonna start hunting crows so I can make us some uh, signs for the chests. Organize uh, where everything's going. Um, did you want a puffy vest? I'm not sure because I do have that uh, colfin trunk I got. Okay. I'll probably make one anyway. Doesn't really hurt. And yeah, I'm gonna have to do some farming here soon because I'm like out of veggies. I wasn't really focusing on it a lot. Ready? All right. Um. Oh yeah, you're right. While it's still daytime. All right, let me get that food going, and then we'll run away from base real quick and do the fight. All right, and yep, we'll head south. I got that um, bonfire down there. That was my main distraction. Oh yeah, I did Eye of Terror too. The um, Eye of Terror's, uh, what do you call it? Helmet? I got that in one of the chests. I didn't bring, <laughs> I didn't bring wood with me. Whoopsie. All right, all set. Do 
See what we got. We got Mac Tusk? Lame. Is it just the little baby? Was that really it? Whatever. We can use more goop if you want. I don't care. Yeah, that's okay. I'm fine with using it. <laughs> it was only like a little baby back tusk too, and I even like the parent. I do have astronomically bad luck. Can't find it. It should be in the farming chest. Yeah, I gotta I gotta get the labels out there uh, when I can. That's a, a big next on my plan. I like uh, organizing and labeling my chests and stuff like that. Cause that's like that's how I played Minecraft. <laughs> I, I have like a huge uh, storage shelf of all of my um, organized chests and stuff like that. And I have everything labeled. Base? Huh? Oh, is it at base? I would have figured it would have... Oh, you're right. Oh, no, she's coming to the... She's coming to the, the fire pits. Right here? You can't break this fire? Oh, okay. Like... To stay warm, I guess that makes sense. And down. There you go. Now you can get your eyeball. Yeah, she is easy peasy. I can't believe I used to be scared of that. <laughs> My um Oh, you have the cult of the lamb sword? I'm so jealous. That's what I'm that's one of the things I'm saving up for. <laughs> I love cult. The whole reason I started playing this game actually. I saw the um the crossover event with Don't Starve. And I'm like, oh, you know, I never played Don't Starve. I really like the aesthetic. I'm gonna give the game a shot. <laughs> Just on a whim because of the crossover event. Is there anything else you want to do down here? Or are we good to all set? <laughs> Love that, yeah. Oh, thank you. Heck yeah. It's a really cool dark sword skin. Oh yeah, getting up to 40 degrees. Fair, fair. I'm debating if I want to save up next for the sword or the chest. Because I think you can only get it through like clay points right now, but I don't know a good way to get more clay points. You just kind of have to be patient until they just give them out again. Like the sword more. It is really nice. It's a lot better than the, the dark sword skin by default. So much meat, it's great. Making stews and bacon and eggs. Send you? What do you mean send you? Can people send stuff? Or does Clay just kind of like uh, post stuff once in a while? Sent two new links. Oh, I wonder if I've done these. Because I I actually was uh, keeping up with their thingy.
may have maybe because uh they came up the recent ones for like not hidden or whatever i'm actually trying to pay attention because i do want to claim stuff when i can i'm interested in collecting like uh skins and whatnot i've uh, definitely gotten a lot more into this game than i expected to Glad it's addicting in the best way. Yeah, I've, it's uh, definitely held. Oops, definitely held my attention for a long time con compared to other games I've played. All right, I'm gonna be need birdies. Hey, by Yggdrasil. What you call it? touched by Yggdrasil. Oh, that's so cute. I'm gonna start collecting crow feathers. day left yeah i guess uh, all right i'm gonna kill those last walruses right now oh we still got time Need one more tusk, baby. No drops from first flame. See, here down there. Okay. You doing the middle one next? Lame. <laughs> well, we got one more. It's all on this one, baby. <laughs> I guess I'm not getting a beefalo brush. Yeah, how stingy. We got two of them! And we get none. Stupid. Alrighty. <sighs> oh, oh, thanks. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna head back. I'm gonna kill some crows. I'm gonna get some signs fixed for the chest and whatnot. Uh, pumpkin, hello, hello! Thank you so much for the follow. You pumpkin de yokai. Nice. <laughs> I think we have enough ice. You expand the farm um technically i don't plan to but if you want to set up uh, a farm outside of the base like a little bit to the south or another direction that'd be okay um i don't plan to expand out this direction because there's not enough space so if you want to do uh farming over here that'd be okay one spot is one slot Hot recipe.
Oh, I see. Yeah, for my design, I do prefer to keep this way, but like I said, um, off to this side of the base. If you want to, if you feel like digging out more plots, uh, you're more than welcome to. I've been storing seeds in the fridge. Yeah, you probably see that. Ah. No flint? Oh, like a uh, charcoal? Um, I've been- I, I was holding a bunch of it because I was making feathers. Or, I mean, uh, pencils. Or, oh, flint! Not charcoal. Um, well, I have... Here. I'll split my stack with you, because I don't have a whole lot. E. There you go. Yeah, I need to mine out some more. I did go mining earlier, but it was just the normal rocks. It wasn't, like, the smooth ones. Rotten egg's my favorite. I mean, I guess that is a type of fertilizer, isn't it? Ah! Your little carrots. Oh, right. They bring, they grab, they bring you stuff. That's what they do. It's kind of like a, what is it? A lazy forager? That's how they work? All the wood, I guess. Do to more. Goodness. Burn through that fast. You're holding it? Oh, that's okay. <laughs> I was just gonna throw it in the fire. It's not like mandatory. Let's see. These. Oh, but I will have to make some mini signs. Use glom goop for fire? That's true. I think I just always end up hoarding it too much for the the flingos. Yeah, it's really good fuel. That's why um why I use it for flingos, because it just uh, fills them up so fast. But it does burn great, You're right? I'm gonna chop some of these trees over here. Get us a bit more wood. Do you by chance know how to set up a bolt goat farm? I keep forgetting to look up how to do it. And I know I'm gonna need horns. I know technically it's better to have it ready. You know, it's rather specific. Yeah, no kidding. I tried it once where you like, it was a method where you set up the tele, tele teleporter focus like somewhere else. Oh, hold on, uh, sugar baby, Sh sugar baby, <laughs> I welcome in pretty dragon, well thank you. Um, so I put the teleporter focus thingy on one of the little tiny islands off from Lunar Island basically, really far away. And I slotted the gems into it, I put a fence around it, and then I teleported a goat into way over there. And then I made a second fenced area. I did this little fenced area that's really small, I put the anemone in it, and I put one goat in there. I uh, made- I put them to sleep, sleep, and I shoved them in. And then I killed the rest of the goats in the herd. But... Like, that's the method I saw in the video, but it didn't work because when I came back to the desert, the fence was empty and there was goats everywhere else. <laughs> like, hmm, maybe this doesn't work or maybe I messed it up. Farm plus where these pine cones are. 
Yeah, that's good. That's about where I was uh, saying that would be a good spot. Have at it. Oh, oh yeah, it is first day of spring. It's raining. Um, oh shoot, I have to make a, a lightning rod. And I did go collect a lot of bones, so we have plenty of bones. But I don't have any sticks. Of course I don't. <laughs> yeah. That was uh, while I was out in the desert. Getting rocks, getting bones. Trying to be a little bit uh, forward thinking. Because my goodness, have I definitely made the mistake of mm, forgetting to collect bones. Heck yeah. And I'll be able to get mine here too. Need so many sticks though. Uh, Shuka, thank you so much for the follow. Appreciate it. Where do you suggest the best place to set up camp? It kind of depends on your world. Um... Personally, I like to set up base somewhere that's next to a good wormhole that will take you somewhere really far away that you would like to visit. Like, for example, my base is set up near this wormhole here, and this one goes directly over here, oops, where there's like a bunch of walrus camps. So it's like really fast access to walrus. And it's also near a sinkhole too, so usually Pick a wormhole you really like, and that's a good place to start. That tends to be my favorite way of doing it. And I like to base in um, the grasslands, typically. Like, it's okay to be in Pig Village, but the grasslands where there's like a lot of bees and bushes and flowers, that tends to be really resource heavy and pretty good. As long as you're not too close to bees, because the bees get really angry in spring, and they'll kick your butt. Oh, cool, Twiggy Farm's actually starting to come back. And I finally got my umbrella. Got a perfect fit. Oh, heck yeah. Nice. That'll work out. Alright, I'm gonna dry off. <laughs> Died to the dragonfly last time? Oh my goodness. Never seen it before. It's a little scary, I guess. Yeah. Um, she can be a little startling. She's actually a bit easier than you would expect. It's hard because, like, if you're running and she does her attack, she kind of like does a sweep where she goes forward really fast and like you can't dodge it. So like the best way to dodge her I found is to just stand really still and then only move the second you see her rear up to hit you. Yeah, she's fast. It's really hard to run away. So... Yeah, standing directly in front of her face and then just doing like a quick little <laughs> to dodge her attacks. That's the best way I've done it. Or you can tank it with some marble armor. Maybe. That's how I fight Antlion. I just tank it. F trying to dodge Antlion. <laughs> I give up on that. I just armor up as hard as possible. Tank and just smack her as fast as I can. Oh, excuse me. Oh, right, I was, uh, chopping trees. Don't think my friends and I have ever gotten as far as you. Oh, springtime? It's just spring. Actually, what, like, once you get to spring, it's a little bit easier in my opinion. Spring isn't that bad. Summer, in my opinion, is worse than winter. 
I don't like summer. Got a couple days in summer and died to overheat. Yeah! Are you starting in the autumn or are you starting in spring? Because it's actually... I used to try and want to start in spring. And it's not as good as idea as it sounds on paper. <laughs> start as autumn. Oh, I see. So you almost made it full year. Yeah, summer's hard if you don't, if you're not ready. Um, I know some people just go underground for summer. Eyebrow in summer. Yeah, the uh, big umbrella that you get from um, deer clops. Great for summer. And if you kill those moose goose, big, big geese. The feathers they drop um, give you like this big fan that can cool you off really good. And uh, the little rock that you heat up in the winter, you can turn that into, you can also put it in your fridge and it'll cool off the rock. So the hot rock can become a cold rock. That also helps out a lot. But yeah, my, my grief with summer is the um, the fires. I don't like wildfires. I do have them turned on, though. When I first was learning how to play, I had them turned off, but now I have them back on. So speaking of, we'll have to get some flingos. Oh, right! I remember one really useful tip I learned. Oh, ads? Okay, I'll wait. <laughs> I'll wait until ads are over. I learned a really good tip about dealing with uh, wildfires. Plant that. That's back done and ready. Ugh. Got a lot more wood. And let's make some of those little mini signs. get a bit of uh, labeling and organization on this stuff. I think I'm gonna change the music. This one's looping a little bit too much lately. All back. Nice. So, uh, one of the tips I learned that was really useful about dealing with fires. Do you ever see those lure plant things? They look like the big fleshy bulbs and they have like the little eyes all around them uh so when wildfires happen they prioritize targeting that and um what i like to do so lure plants can't make eyeballs on man-made turf and stuff like that so one thing i've learned is that you can put an alert plant somewhere near your base put a bunch of like cobblestone road around it or something like that. And when a wildfire happens, the very first thing it's going to set on fire is that lure plant. And if you have it next to a flingomatic that's going to that automatically puts out fires, you pretty much have a foolproof um, fire suppression system for your base. And mostly for a lot of the area around your base, too. So things that aren't in your flingomatic range won't catch on fire, because it will always try to catch the lure plant on fire first. And knowing that is so very helpful. 
So as soon as I can, I'm definitely going to have to turf out the base a little bit. Get a lure plant somewhere a little further away. Maybe on the other side, away from the garden. And that'll be my, um, my fire catching system. <laughs> or I could just go on the boat, actually. Maybe. Because the range that it targets lure plants is pretty big. Got the flooring summer. Yeah, I plan to use that mostly, but we're going to have to turf out beforehand. So I might have to use some temporary flooring. But I really like the um, the gold. That's what I wanted to use. I wanted to use a bit of the gold and a bit of the lush carpeting. Something that would look good for Wigfried, I think, specifically. The random smushed pig hut? Oh, a meteor? Oh, goodness. Do we really have meteors that close or some nearby or something? Or just somewhere. <laughs> oh no. Ah, uh, mosaic biome. Yeah. chest. I think I'll just keep this to be miscellaneous stuff, maybe? Randoms. Need feathers. Nice. Some of the grass to come back. I'll have to finish that little fenced area so in case they morph into geckos I'll be able to just keep them in the pen. Alright, grass and twigs are all gonna go in here. Um, I'm gonna need more. I wonder if that birdcage is still there. Probably trap them um, and crows so I don't have to pay attention so hard to boomerang. bird trap like on this turf. I think that's the turf that'll attract crows. All right, trying to think of everything else. I usually put like valuable valuables in there. and gold maybe and then this one I usually put the passive animal stuff compared to monster parts so that's like pig skin mandrakes beefalo birds more of this cooked and prepared and stuff. 
get it to last a bit longer. Oh yeah, then we're gonna have to do a lot of goose hunting. A lot of goose hunting. To get my butt on gear pretty soon. Right, but when I get lots of niter, get tons of healing. Really? How does niter heal you? Do you use it for something? Forty healing com oh it's for compost wraps. That's interesting. Hmm. Need manure. Oh. Yeah, I I used all the manure. <laughs> when I um I was uh fertilizing the grass tufts so we could grow them. I'm gonna turn a lot of this extra meat into eggs and give some to the pig king. Not gonna need like one or two. Could be 200. Oh my god. Maybe we should get a beef. Well, no. Beefalo herd doesn't matter because beefalo. They only eat poop if there's two poop. Like. They only do two poops in their area. If there's two already, they don't do more. It's kind of lame. Oh, wait! Can't... Can't, um... Shoot. Can't you make a thing that makes enemies have the runs, so to speak? I could have swore there's a formula thing you can make that makes, a, uh, like, an enemy or, like, any creature uh basically it's like i'm looking for the word the thing you take to make you go to the bathroom laxative can't can't you make a laxative or something like that you can give it to like a piggy either a piggy or a beefalo and yeah they'll give you a lot of manure i've seen that i have pet didn't take that one though, took salad. Ah, I see. You know what? Valid. The salad banders are that cool. <laughs> I like the I like the little critter summons. I think when I eventually get wormwood, I am hundred percent gonna go for the critter summons. I'm a sucker for having little friends. Yeah, they're just little guys. I love the little guys. Oh, you made a composter. Nice. I keep forgetting to get to that. Um, yeah, I'll compost like pine cones and stuff like that. you need to put dry rot and wet rot materials in there so like pine cones and rot i always just put anything in there and it usually seems to work does the compost material it spits out different depending on what you fill it with 40 flint oh heck yeah thank you yeah i'm working on getting um the signs going to organize um all our stuff I'm but I'm but trying. This looks great. Oh, thank you. Not even done. It's the I got I got more plans for making this look a little nicer. I like this layout a lot. Um, I watched this YouTuber Jakeyosaurus. And this is very similar to what he was doing. I switched it up a little bit for what I liked, but it's very similar. Bird. Come on. Gib. Gib. 
The feathers, there we go. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm crazy about organization. <laughs> if my base doesn't look organized and pretty, I, uh, I go nuts. Which is probably why I'm so slow at this game. ADHD? Yeah. <laughs> Got hardcore the ADHD. Oh, me too. Yep. Do be like that. And this will be the last line of chests. And it'll be enough to completely organize everything. Making fancy flingo bases? Ooh. Mine doesn't- mine doesn't, um... The flingo doesn't cover the entirety of my base, which is part of why I use the lure plant. <laughs> so I don't have to make a, too many. I put one near the lure plant just to take, um, put it out. And I put another one by the saplings and stuff, so they can get watered for the summer. Water can fires too? That's true. Watering can? You're right. Watering the gardens is a good idea, too. We are next to a pond, so that helps. Won't have to walk too far to fill up the watering can. I'm getting more wood. Too lazy to fur- oh, really? Maybe I'm too obsessive about gardening. Maybe it's all those years of playing farming sims. I, uh... I'm always aiming to get an entire group of, what do you call it? Giant crops? I always aspire to get all giant crops each time I do um, a plot. Try mass produce as much food as I can. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Fortunately, I did put away wort this time, but whatever. Whole base will be covered. Oh goodness. It is nice to have a bit of help. I always play solo, so it feels very different to have like another person who like can get can get stuff. I played a little bit of this game with Hellgirl and Seymour, but they don't care for it too much. Which is, you know, it's fine. They're not really survival genre type people. They play Fortnite. <laughs> really good at existing separate to the party on a server. Yeah, Wormwood seems really good for both solo and co-op, which is really nice. Wigfree's technically not really good for co-op besides just fighting. But, yep, I do want to get her skill tree done. I eventually do want to get everyone, all the skill trees, completed. I'm not super looking forward to playing Wilson because I don't I don't find him very interesting, I guess. But I'll get to it. Wolf King's okay. I don't dislike Wolf King, but he's not like a first pick for me either. But he'll probably be easy to play. Since I've gotten pretty good at sanity management at least. I want to get him his Forge skin when I play, because it reminds me of a Kratos. He has like this Kratos-inspired skin. Gosh, it's getting really hard to see where I can plant. Can you kill nightmares yet? Me? I mean, I definitely can. My problem is just I never go insane. Wigfrey just doesn't go insane. I'm not even wearing my ham. Well, I am wearing the puffy vest, but... <laughs> yeah, because Wigfried gains sanity just for hitting stuff, she just doesn't go insane. She's easy mode. Like, I'm, a, I'm having a walk in the park right now.
All right, gonna get one more chest and then we're done with chests. Anti mushroom gives you 10. Oh, that's true. I guess what you could do is just chop down a bunch of stuff or start a fire and just don't plant anything. But yeah, some characters it's really easy to maintain. Some characters it's a bit harder. Wormhole spam or green caps. Oh, that is true. You just eat them raw. Mm, I guess I could just do a wormhole spam. That would make me go insane because you need nightmare fuel, don't you? Or just in general, we'll, we'll need some. Stupid crows are holding out on me. Want a base coal fent for poop and emergency meat? Oh, why not? I uh, I've never, I've never corralled a coal fent before. Just let them hang out and wander. Hmm. Yeah, I've never done it. Because I usually end up getting a beefalo. Just kind of bummed I didn't get to make, to make a brush. Did you did you make a walking cane, by the way? Make a zoo out of it? You know, I think I have seen people make a, a zoo before in this game. And honestly, goals. That sounds really fun. There's a tusk? Yeah, we had an extra tusk for you. Maybe you missed it when I said at the beginning that I had one for you. We have one. It's, uh, dumb? Nah, you're not dumb. Yeah, it's in this chest. There you go. Now you can get your walking cane. <laughs> I, I want to double check that wasn't, like, extra. I want to make sure that you got your cane. Alright. Oh, ugh. Thinking. Always a super No, I don't think you're incompetent at all. It's easy to just miss a little bit of dialogue. <laughs> and Rose. Red gems? I do not think we have any red gems. You want to kill dragonfly? All right. Um, we got plenty of time for goose hunting too. I'll get some rocks to build the fences. I kind of know how to do the fences. I might mess up, but I know it for the most part. Um, make some pierogi real quick too. Get that cooking, and then I'll go build those fences. Got some moon trunes. Okay. Oh shoot! I don't have any vegetables for pierogies. Ish. Goes to show how much I've been slacking on gardening, for sure. Hmm. Mushrooms and cactus are your go-to. Oh, that is true. Cactus are a really easy veggie. Well, considering I have to go over there to build the b things anyway, maybe I'll go pick some cactus. Though I don't think health will be too much of an issue, because I do have a bunch of bacon and eggs, and that does heal at least 20 health. Not too bad. Oh, 
That's what I get for not doing my uh stone, I guess. I only got one grass gecko. What a ripoff. I wanted more. Christ. <laughs> Those are cute emotes. Got a few fireflies really fast. <sighs> Quick fireflies. Do you like to use light helmets? I could make two if we need to. Just have your light. Oh, that's right, duh. You got the handy dandy light bugs. make a light helmet but that's a lot of grass and I don't have the luxury of grass at the moment so I'll just wait Got a bunch of rocks. Gonna get my food. And then I'm off. To go get those fences built at Dragonfly. Hey Retro! Hello, hello, welcome in. How do you do? Hope your day's going well. Just playing a bit more Don't Starve. Finally made it to spring, and we're doing pretty good, I think. Not too bad, all considering. On the ruins? Oh, nice. GG. All right, dragonfly. It's probably just easy sprint over there. Oh yeah, I built a boat bridge from oh, from where we're at to um the desert. Hype train. Whoa. Yo, Retro! What the heck, dude? Holy moly! Thank you so much for the 10 gifted subs! Oh my gosh! That's extremely generous! Thank you! <laughs> Holy moly! <gasps> well, thanks! That's really sweet of you! Congrats to everyone who got a sub! Hey, cat! Looks like you got a gifted a sub, too! Yeah, thank you, Retro! Really appreciate it! Helps out a lot. Going good? Well, nice! Yeah, yeah! Going good for me, too! <laughs> yeah, we're just, uh... Oh, that's gonna go off for, like, ten times. Um, yeah, it's just been, um... Casual... Casual time playing Don't Starve. Yeah. Hey, got a lurk plant! Uh, oh, I found some beef blow manure. <laughs> Sorry, the alerts are going to be going off for a bit. Yeah. 
All right. Now, how am I going to get these fences done? Mm. We got two piles right here, huh? Maybe I set it up here. I only have to worry about this one magma pool. I'm gonna set it up here and then angle it to the sides. That might work. I think that'll be good. Oh, awful. It's getting kind of hot in my room. Getting toward that time of year where my room's gonna be a hot box. Whoops. <laughs> Put you here. Frost. Fit. So close to the magma pool, I'm actually getting a little warm. A little toasty. Forgot bee stingers? Oh no. Yeah, I haven't I haven't collected like any bee stingers. make gates out of stone. Like we deserve gates that are non-flammable. Gotta get some bees. Okay. All good. Very new, nice mood today. Get some gusts coming to the convention. Oh, heck yeah! Congrats. Glad that you're getting some folks that you like. I haven't been to a convention in quite a long time. I haven't had the, the um, spare income for it yet. But now that Hellgirl's working again, I'm hoping I can go to a convention again soon. Um, the Comic Con at my nearest city is usually pretty consistently good. My favorite person I've ever seen at a con convention was uh, Steve Bloom. Really liked uh, Steve Bloom's panel and uh, all that stuff. I'm probably overdoing the fence a little bit, so I'm sorry it's a little weird and awkward. I'm not the best at this one. <laughs> nice. If anyone got a hype train emote, very nice. Thank you for the generous gifted subs and uh, for the hype train. Little emote coming to grab ya. Let me get my lantern. might not be the most eloquent setup, but I guess it'll do. <laughs> Apologies if it's a little weird when you get here, uh, Kat, when we do our uh, thing, but um, <laughs> it'll be fine. We'll, we'll destroy her. No, no fear. And yeah, my sanity's finally low, though. Look at that. 
If I sit next to this, uh, if I sit on top of this evil flower, I can go insane. Nothing bad has ever happened to Don't Star. <sighs> oh. This game has, like, a way of, like, when things go wrong, it has to go wrong all at once in every way possible. It's never just one thing going wrong. It's everything. Like, it's not just that you forget to make a lightning rod for your base and then you craft it the second after lightning finally strikes your base, but also at the same time of like a hound attack or something and then Berger spawns. <laughs> Harvest crops now so they don't rot? Yeah! Yeah, carrots. I got a whopping one nightmare fuel. <laughs> I worked hard for that. Got nine. <laughs> yeah. All it took was just standing a lot in the dark and then standing directly on top of an evil flower for like 10 seconds. <laughs> hey, there's a lure plant right here too. Yep. I got more manure. I'll uh, I'll put this in the gardening chest. Got more compost. Got enough bananas to make three monkeys. Oh, that's right. So you took that crafting? Heck yeah. That's at that's some at home uh, reeds. A hammer? Okay, cool. Yeah, um, here. Here's a hammer for you. Or do you want me to just do it for you while you're picking? I guess we can double team it. Oh, boom. Oh, right. They just pick up stuff for you. That's so easy for... That's handy. Karas, just pick up the, cr the seeds and the crops for you while you're... All this stuff. Oh my gosh. Those are amazing. I can't wait to play um, Wormwood. I begged Seymour to uh, to buy me a Wormwood's deluxe chest. <laughs> I don't know when he'll do it, but I hope he does because I uh, I really want it. <laughs> Excuse me, a little hiccup. Oh yeah, hi Scale. Sorry I missed that a little bit. <laughs> hi, thanks for lurking. Good to see ya. Hope you're doing good. Trying to get my stuff organized where it's supposed to go. Um, oh, thank ya. I was having some issues with uh, keeping my lantern lit.
Alright, last round of signs. Bye bye, low sanity. Oh, right, because you're doing a bunch of seed planting. I guess that does take you all the way back up, doesn't it? Now, I'm the one at low sanity. Wow. My turn. Alright. Getting a lot more organized around here. Oh, only got three more signs I have to draw. go I'm finally insane again I get to do good that. Yeah. just hitting this thing gives me sanity there we go timer fuel adds compost to the JK <laughs> I mean, you ever been covered in compost or something like that? That is nightmare fuel. Got a canary. Yuck. <laughs> I think the most nightmare fuel inducing thing I've ever had to do is uh, check a cow for pregnancy. And I'm not going to elaborate on the process. You'll just have to look that up yourself if you don't know. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> I was in, uh, I was in vet school for farming. I wanted to be a farm, or I wanted to be a farm vet tech. So I did all kinds of stuff with farm animals. <sighs> you ever have to make a cow take a pill too? Like with a pill gun? Also not fun. Oh my god. Those those girlies can really throw you off your feet. Definitely when I was doing uh, farm medicine though, my favorite was always the sheep. Goats are silly and they're pretty cute, but sheep kind of have like a special place in my heart. Especially lambs. Lambs are adorable. Blessed creatures, yeah. They're very cute. Alright, wow, finally low on meat. I didn't think it was ever gonna happen. It'll be easy to get meat because I got that tall bird fort we can just hop over to and I'll just get meat very fast from there. So I'm going to get these stingers. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you're right. Well, whenever you're ready, uh, do let me know. I'll also um, make you some... I think you might be good on your weapon because you have your uh, dark sword, but there's an extra commander helm in this new combat chest I got made too. There's also some tentacle spikes in here. Um, 
maybe more log suits. Well, you have your brand bull suit, so I guess that might do okay. But I am ready when you are. No pressure. Take long? Yeah, you're all good. Um, need three more feathers. Come on, baby. Ugh. Get the rest of this stuff all organized. Two stingers, oh heck yeah. GG. Alright. Sounds good. I got my last feather. Woo! All the chests are organized and labeled. I love it. I love to see it. Love me a good organized labeled base. Oh. Wait, are dogs coming? Okay. Same. Okay. More than ready. They won't be firehounds yet, at least. Oh, nice, thank ya. I'm ready for doggos. Cute little salamanders. I love the little hump, little chumps. It's too bad they can't turn into uh, um, fire lizards. Don't want them burning things. That is true. What about the excitement? <laughs> be cool to be able to empower them, feed them dragon fruit or something. Yeah, I like them. Meat imposter. Sure, okay, Wigfried. I like how Willow. Uh, so Willow as a character is kind of pessimistic. She doesn't like anything. But I think it's really funny that <laughs> I think she, when I had her examine one of the salamanders, she's like, okay, it's kind of cute. I'm good to go. I got food, got armor, got weapon. Ready to beat up the bug. Heels? Right, Wigfried. 
The, uh, the bacon and eggs heal a little bit of health, so... I didn't have veggies for pierogi at the moment, so I just went with these. It'll do for now. I, I honestly think I'll be okay. Ready? Alrighty. Let's go. Like I said, um, the fence format formation I did is a little wonky, but I think it'll work. <laughs> if something has problems, we'll workshop it. Oh wait, should we have a pan flute? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I literally just was like, oh wait, I think that's important. I don't know how to time the pan flute with the butt slam though. So it's up to you if you want to try and do it or if you want to have me do it. I, I, I don't think I'm better for it. You can try? Okay. And then there's the pan flute for you. Oh, I do have two mandrakes, so we'll be able to craft more too. So we, we can do that like when we get back or something. Sleep practice with mushrooms. Oh, I think I've heard about that. I've only like watched a video before on my Wormwood skill tree, so I kind of know stuff a little bit here and there, but not all of it. More OP? Yeah, I think I've heard about that. It's kind of like the sleep bag, but better. Oh shoot, Ingy Beefy. <laughs> Alright, so mostly I think the plan... Wait. Oh, your light bugs. Um. Oh. <laughs> sure, why not? Uh, I don't think I can. I tried to force attack, but it went for the frogs. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> um. Yeah. <laughs> okay. No. I'm force attacking everything but your bugs. <laughs> Wait! Oh, I have to click on them directly. Gotcha. Got him. Alright. So I guess the plan is to use this side of the fence um, as the way to hide behind. And I guess we'll just try and kite whatever ones th she makes to kind of like walk into this magma pool. If she makes them on this magma pool, rip, but the rest of them should be able to kite them nicely. And I know you're weak to fire, so um, I'll mostly do my best to just smack as much as I can. She's going to do her baby thing. So they should be able to kite over here to this pool. Nice. At some point I'm gonna have to craft some songs. Oh good, she did it on that side. Oh yeah, kick her butt, knock her out. <laughs> Easy peasy, she ain't nothing. I don't even think she can do her slam down. Oh hey, she dropped an extra scale. Easy, that was stupid easy. <laughs> And I even have the, uh, I have the, what do you call it? The boss mod? So it adjusts their health to how many players are active. So that was with uh, her two player active health. Red gems, yeah! yeah. 
So, are you sure? Because I know you wanted red gems, or do you just want it from the furnace? Also, we got a larva egg. <laughs> I, do you want a pet dragonfly? I don't. <laughs> I don't want the critter. <laughs> want the furnace more? Okay. <laughs> I don't think I want a pet dragonfly. I don't really like it. I think it, it kind of weirds me out, the little broodling. I guess I'll just put it in a chest or something. <laughs> yeah, easy peasy dragonfly. And I guess whenever she respawns, we could always just kill her again. Like the kit coon? Yeah, the kitty is really cute. I think personally the vargling is my favorite, but I like to give the characters the pet they think they like, you know? Because they all have like a commentary on what pep which ones they like. Did a purple drop? Yes. Um Oh, oh, there you go. Purple. Um What was I gonna say? I lost it. <laughs> oh, right. I like to, um, because they all have like a commentary on which ones they, they like to, which pets they like. So I like to give them the pet that they commentate to, uh, they seem to enjoy. Hey, I've got a bat bat. I guess, oh, you know what? That is really good healing for Wormwood in particular, huh? I didn't think about that. Bat bat would work best for Wormwood. Aww. <laughs> um, like, uh, that's why I gave Willow the Mothling, because uh, her comment for the moth is, she loves flames. And I'm like, oh yeah, that does seem like a really good pet for her. That bets are quite nice as, wi uh, as Wiggy too. Your healing's going too slowly. That is true. Swapping for just long enough. Makes sense. Alright, so Scaled Furnace. Gale's Furnace is nice. It's just like, is it only a trash can or does it have other uses? Besides cooking, I guess. Gotta go have a good rest of your stream? Yeah, of course. Thanks for being here, Yalor. Thank you for the raid. Have a good rest of your day. Oh, I'm gonna need more charcoal. Hey, Scale. Welcome back. I'm doing pretty good. I'm just, uh, we just killed Dragonfly. Went easy peasy. Permanent light and heat source. That's true. It is really good for, um, hot rocks. I know technically it's probably better to kill dragonfly before winter, but it is what it is. I also got a second, hold on, you, I got a second scale. Do you want to make fire armor with it? If you want to, you're more than welcome to use it for scale armor. I'll leave it in this chest for you. But if you want to make scale armor, um, I guess that worked best for you since uh, the whole fire thing. Good. Only use it after CP though. Okay. It's always an option. Back from a small, small snack. Oh, nice, nice. What do you have for a snack? All right, I'm gonna have to go get more charcoal. So we can make this furnace. And then we're gonna have to go moose, uh, goose hunting. Whether we do that together or not, it doesn't really matter. I don't think goose is, goose isn't that hard to fight. So separate was just fine by me. Oh shit, I didn't grab the ax. Just some pork? Ah, I see. I'm not really a pork eater myself. I do like, I do like um, pepperoni and stuff though. Living logs and mob drops. Oh, um, if you want. Uh, so sometimes with this gem chest, I like to put all the magic in here. So like nightmare fuel, living logs, gems. It's like all the magic crafting, you know? That could work.
cookies. Last night, um, Hellgirl's uh, co-workers did something pretty nice for her. She's only been at her new place of work for like a week or something like that. But when uh, they had that day where they heard that it was her birthday, um, the day after, <laughs> they brought in her. They brought in um, a tin of cupcakes and some ice cream, and they had like a little um, birthday dinner for lunch at work. It was really sweet, even though she hadn't been working there for too long. Yeah, it was really sweet. Oh, girl, she's a really likable person. She's really good at meeting people, talking to new people, establishing friendships. So I'm not really surprised that she um, got accepted pretty quickly. She does it everywhere she works. <laughs> She's just an easily, easily likable person. It's why in a bit of her college stuff, she studied humanities and stuff like that. Socially inept? Me too, that's okay. I'm not the best communicator, which is kind of probably why, um, how we slot together in a way. Because you know how a lot of people that are in relationships, sometimes uh, one person in the relationship can kind of fulfill a role or slot into something that the other person lacks? Um, she's great at talking to people and I'm not. So when we met in high school, um, basically it was that thing where you know how they say extroverts, uh, introverts don't make friends, they're adopted by extroverts? It feels like that's what it was. It's like she came and just adopted me. She's like, oh, I like you. We're friends now. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> and it was the, the, oh no, she's hot kind of thing too. I immediately had a crush on her. And she's like, yep, we're friends. You gotta take a break? Yeah, of course. Feel free. Always welcome back. Uh, Brillo Pad, hello. Welcome in. You love Don't Starve? Heck yeah, me too. I've been having a lot of fun with this game. Yeah, you got a, you got a gift sub from Retro. Retro uh, very generously gave to the community. Alright, well. Recharged on a bit of our the charcoal supply. I'm mm. gonna put this away, make that scale furnace, and then it's open season for geese. I'm gonna get as many feathers as I can. Okay, um, I'm trying to remember where I like to put this. Go back here. My current battle spear is about to break. I do have a dark sword, but I'm gonna want to hoard a little bit of supplies so I can just kind of go out and not really worry about coming back to base to get more stuff. I just want to beat the heck out of Goose. Shouldn't be too hard. Grab a hodgepodge of weapons. As for healing. Meat. I'll have to get some more eggs. Yeah, I don't really have any veggies. That's why the pierogi is kind of a bit of an issue with me right now. What did I get.
wake up the birdie real quick just to get some eggs. They stay like wake just long enough to give them some. Oh no, don't eat it. Ah. Oh. Pepperoni. Making some loaded potatoes for dinner. Oh, comfort food. That's a good idea. Loaded potatoes does sound like a good comfort food. I don't think I've had anything like that in quite a long time. finally taking a turn for the worst. Took its time, I suppose. I guess when I go get fighting, I'll probably recover a lot of it. Alright. Good to go. I'm gonna go kill some geese. Alright, looks like there's probably one pretty up close near the map. in the deciduous area. Over here? Yep. Yeah. Uh, frogs are already causing mischief. I'm not very good at dodging moose goose, so we'll see how this goes. I unfortunately get hit on accident a lot. I don't know why, but her hitbox just kind of like trips me up. Try. She doesn't have an insanity aura, so I guess I will be recovering sanity quite a lot during this. Bonk. And I'm definitely gonna have to get more songs so I can actually use use them. What? Oh, shoot. Ow. Two, three. Gotta keep on my timing. One, two. Oh, she's almost down. Got her. Alright, make sure the babies don't catch on fire on her goodies. What? struck me. Good loot. What? Ow. Easy little babes. Whoop. Gotta give them a little spin around. Timings are all different now. At the <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Great, now they're all on fire. I don't want them to die on fire. I need your feathers. Ooh. Okay, I don't I don't like it when they die too close to the water, because sometimes oh my god, don't do that. I should have took a watering can. Then I could have put out their feathers if they die. Ooh. Yep. There we go. Oh yeah. Sixteen feathers to start. I'm gonna grab these for 
filler. Gotta go have a nice day. Yeah, of course. Thanks for being here, Scale. Have a good rest of your day, and I hope your dinner is good. Alright, um, where's the next Moose Goose spawner I can see? It's always possible I just haven't discovered them. I see one way over there. Not very close, but... I should rebuild that bridge. I do have to rebuild that bridge. So if I rebuild the bridge, I can hop, skip, and jump across there, and it's a little bit closer where I want to be. Put our food away. All right. And get that wood. Oh my gosh, I actually don't have that much wood. I don't have enough to make a boat. Pepperoni. Oh my god, look at this harvest. Uh, uh, okay. Give me a second, I'm gonna be here for a bit. <laughs> There's so many. I'll definitely save the potatoes. And maybe some of the corn. I like growing corn too. Corn's great for the summer. And po tomatoes. Corn and, po corn and tomatoes are the good summer ones. Oh, and the garlic. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. We got a Lord of the Flies. Come here. Get away from her. Shoot. Shoot. Ow. Get out of here. Go away. Hey. F out of here. Well, got a pet fly now. That's, uh, that's nice, though. I'll take care of the crops when we're not here. AF AFK farm hand. But I don't have anything that harvests the crops. I think that'd be OP though. Like, could you like could you imagine? On one hand, you could get the fly, which tends the crops, but you could get like something kind of like the carrot, which will harvest plants and then put them in their nearest chest or something. Too easy. That'd be too easy. in time to get my light out. Just look at all these seeds! Oh, it's so much. Food production up the wazoo! I'm probably just gonna grab some of these tomatoes and call it good. Because uh, I need to finish the moose goose hunting before spring is over. Definitely gonna save. Uh, got so many potatoes. I'm gonna save some of these tomatoes too, because tomatoes are good for that vegetable stinger. If anyone ever has to make it. Go. Oh. And I harvested the one dragon fruit I saw. That's good. Put that away. Got a, I got a little rabbit in this carrot patch. Actually, maybe I should do some carrots too. I don't see any carrot seeds in the fridge. glad that I learned how to- that you can just hold spacebar to pick up stuff. <laughs> oh man, when I first started this game, I just clicked everything. Everything was clicking. 
better now. Oh, right. Oh my gosh. Bridge is full. Here. We'll just throw out the milky white so they're gonna go bad. I don't really want pomegranate either. I actually don't like chili peppers. We'll take those out. And I can turn these turkey legs into eggs. actually make pierogi. Finally got our veggie thing going. Not that I super need the healing, but it's whatever. I don't think I have anything for early sanity food because I don't have, I haven't been, I don't have any bees yet. Oh, veggie burgers are actually not bad for sanity. Good. I guess that's why I've been holding on to the onions. The onions, actually onions and beefy meat will be great for sanity food for Wigfried then. Because that's just, uh, oh, okay. <laughs> I see. Out my steam. Ah! Get my window out of the way. I will get to the steam stuff in a little bit after stream. Hey, welcome back, cat. I harvested a lot of your veggies, but not all of them. Because <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm trying to do goose hunting. But I got a lot of them harvested. I put a lot of the seeds away. Oh yeah, and we got a little fruit fly friend now. Okay, I am back off to hunt more geese. I'm trying to get us feathers. I guess after goose hunting's done, it'll be more, more logging, as always. Always logging. I got really behind on picking up grass tufts this year for sure. I'm usually a little bit better about getting the grass tuft garden early. goose at this one. That's a shame. Oh, where else is... Where else can I look? I'm trying to find more nests. Hmm. Looks like maybe south in the grasslands? pick whatever grass I can as I go. <laughs> Ugh, I've not been good. I think that's one of the reasons why I get so long-term attached onto this game. I kind of like get stuck in like the, the loop in my brain of like, okay, gotta do this next and now we're doing this and now we're doing this. Like I always have a checklist in my head what needs to be done. 
Oh my god, there's no goose at this one either. Come on. Where are they all at? Ugh. Keep a journal? Oh my goodness. I did write actually like a little guide thingy for me of like a little checklist thing to remind me if I get like forgetful of what needs to be done. Even still, I do, I still get a little lost and I'm still pretty slow. Basically checklist entries. <laughs> this game, it, like it needs it. And that's the sad thing is that you can't like, I couldn't find any kind of walkthrough guide of, like, a complete guide of this game. Everything is just, like, how to survive your first year. Uh, here's the basics on how to survive. It's like, no, 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 no. I don't need that. I need, like, a start to finish uh, checklist guide walkthrough. And I couldn't find anything. Everything was only just covering the first year or, like, how to survive deer clops. It's like, okay, but... Give me a streamlined method from A, starting the game, to B, finishing uh, Shadow the Ancient Fuel Weaver and Celestial Champion. Oh, there's two goose over here. Three? Oh my god, I found them all. They're all right here. Oh no. Oh, those jerks are in one spot. Oh no. Oh. Go at it. Wake up. Wake up. Yeah, yeah. Cry, cry, cry. There's so many babies. Oh my god. That suck. Ow. Oh, gosh, I am not dodging this one. Ugh. Oh, there's two moms right here. Criminy Christ. Smacker. Smack, smack, smack. Kill this goose! I really like this epic boss health bar thing. It's a nice mod. I can't believe it's a mod. It looks really good for a mod. There's so many things that are mods in this game that sometimes they feel should have been in the game. But it is what it is. I like boss health bars, but maybe that's just the souls player in me. Okay. Oh, that's baby dodging time. That's on fire. hate it when they're all on different timings like this. Another. Ugh. Ow. feathers. Alright, was that all the babes of that one? Maybe. I think so.
That's two geese down. Another right here. Let's go. One after another. We ain't stopping, baby. Even though I think I only got one log chest left. Fine. It'd have been nice if I had my Elden Spear already. I gotta get my game on. Ugh. Gotta stop effing around so much. So slow. Ow! Shoot. Poor mini. One, two, uh. <laughs> I know you're supposed to hit her like three times, but when she hops around, it changes her timing a bit. When she does her honk and when she does her little brrr, scary flap at you. That's a lot of babies. I think she got some babies from a different mom because that's too many. <laughs> that's too many. Oh my God. Oh, holy shit. <laughs> There's so many babies. Oh my god. Ow. Oh my god. Ugh. Ow. I'm only okay because I'm playing the GG easy character. Oh, I lost some feathers. The lightning strikes. Ah! Ugh! Stop catching on fire. Ah! God darn it. Ooh. <sighs> I'm pretty sure these are the combined babies of two moms. So I wonder if there's a mom over there that doesn't have babies. Oop! Tentacles. Ow! I know I should be wearing my eyebrella, but I'm out of armor. I know I can heal for the most part, but I'm just trying. <sighs> Giant eggplants? Oh, sweet. I don't like eggplants. <laughs> I can't use them for meatballs. If I use it one eggplant in any dish, it just becomes stuffed eggplant. Except for maybe pierogi or something. All right, where's the rest of them? I hear spiders. Okay, they're just... Oh, I think they're having... Oh my gosh, I think the spiders are having a war with the bees. But if you're not Wigfried, yeah. I think there was more... Oh, this one... Oh, this one got killed by a tentacle. Any more? I'm pretty sure I didn't... Uh, yep, okay, there's there's stuff over here. There's no feathers though, so it must have caught on fire. It must have died on fire. Had so many seeds? Yeah. We got a lot. It's a lot. Alright, well. Oh. I got like 36 feathers. That's good. Where's another mom though? There was three moms. But I think, I don't know if she's going to still be around because now all the babes are gone. Because she like combined nests with another nest. Time for some rot. We already have so much. Alright, well, I'm not seeing anymore. 
I hope you weren't explaining, ex expanding? I don't think so. That's more or less the, the format I go with. I just have like that little twiggy grass section up there and about it. All right, I think I might have cleared out the rest of the geese in that spot. I think there's one more nest I can hit. Oh, hello, piggy. Yeah, this, I guess this is where a lot of the bees are at. Bees, bees. Oh. Alright, I think this will be the last goose I'm gonna fight. Oh, I think your dog's coming. I wonder if I can get the dogs to help me if I just kind of run around a little bit. Might work out. A little mother goose. Ow. Eh. Hmm. I thought I heard dogs baying, but I didn't have any dogs come over to me. Maybe I was wrong? I don't know. I'm hearing a lot of stuff in my ear. Maybe it was like drums from the song or something. Hey, hold on. There was a thing that said... Two days? Good luck. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, hello, Ashy. <laughs> Welcome in. Sorry, I saw your message at one point, but I was in the middle of the boss fight. And then... By the time my focus recentered, I was already like, Alright! Where's the next goose? Ow. Really? You can hit behind you too? Doesn't make any sense. Great, I'm starting to officially get wet. Ow. No armor, we die like queens. about base but it's temporary is it a giant garden <gasps> oh. oh my god why that's so much food it won't fit all in the fridge <laughs> ah. Need seven stacks of food. Oh, that's true. I guess it does help with your compost stuff. Ooh. bit more manageable when you don't got double the babies. You hit F3, you drop a grid on the floor. Oh, I didn't know that actually. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, where we go. I have annihilated the goose population for good. Days are forever, so I use it for gardening. Oh. Oh, my F3 doesn't do it. Hmm. Maybe I have, uh, the hotkeys a bit different. Ouch, my booty. <sighs> Alright. I'm gonna head home. 
I'm gonna sort away all my inventory, and that's probably where I'm gonna end up ending stream. So, feel free to get your um, inventory all figured out. I got a long walk home, though. Yeah, I got a long walk home. <laughs> But I got so many feathers, because I already had 16 in the chest, and now I have 50? And I got 50 here. So I think we have like, we have like over 60 goose feathers. <laughs> I think we're good. Face looks beautiful? Hmm. Is it covered in veg vegetation? <laughs> Is that why it's beautiful? <laughs> Speaking of, I do have to turf it. I'm gonna have to get all the, um... The cobblestone made. And the carpet. Oh. Man, it's really hot in this room. Goose hunt successful. Even without the Elden Spear, which would have been so good. I don't think I really plan to ever play Wigfried again after I get her to beating the final bosses. But if I knew better, I would have tried getting the goat thing set up faster and right away. I don't think she really shines until she gets that Elden Spear. I know her battle rond could be a good thing, but I'm not very good at using it. Personally, I'm not super great at the... um block parry mechanic thing. Although it's probably useful for certain enemies, like I bet it's good for Nightmare Wear Pig, because I'm not very good at dodging his charge attack and the double whammy of the knockdown and the slam really sucks. There's a nice song that causes everyone to heal while attacking. Yeah, I gotta, I'll have to get onto the songs too. Oh my god. <laughs> That's so many! <laughs> oh, Jesus. It's a whole plantation. Dang. Well, I'm gonna be busy harvesting that later. <laughs> the little bug is trying so hard. He's doing it all by himself. Not permanent. <laughs> oh my goodness. So many. All right, um, I'm gonna get all my stuff put away, and I'm gonna start wrapping up the end of stream. I have so much meat. I should have. I need. There's so many things I keep needing to do that I'm just not doing because I also want to set up um, drying racks. Bad at this. future we can kill queen bee and get you bundling yeah that would be great for all this meat preservation but on the bright side you can give a lot of it to the king and just kind of get the rest of the rest of the gold we'll ever need for this game hard to solo true i guess it depends on who you're playing two people she's easy though maybe yeah last time i fought her i was willow and I did it by... What was I doing? I, of course, used the pan flute to, like, I... Yeah, drag the grumble bees away, pan flute them, and then run back to her. And I think I was fighting her with, of course, like, the marble armor. I was wearing the marble armor and the bee hat, and I was just tanking the best I could. But if it rains, obviously Willow's not that good because she can't set wet things on fire. All right. Well, um. got all of my important stuff set up. My inventory is clean. 
Thanks for hosting. Yeah, of course. And thanks for being here. Thanks for all the help. Appreciate it. Seven days left of spring. I think my next plan next to my play is going to be goats. I'm going to focus on goats and maybe some logging and whatnot. Oh. Pretty successful, though. Started the stream with uh, deer clops. We fought dragonfly. Um, and then I killed like four moose goose. Yeah. Very good. Heck yeah. Thanks for being here. Appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Oh. I need to get my uh my hips all set up and resting. But I think I'm I don't think I'm gonna raid out today. I'm just gonna call it good. Uh so thank you all so much for being here with me today. Hope you all enjoyed. I'll be back on Friday. And we'll play some more video games. Not really sure what we're playing on Friday. But yep, I'll be back on Friday at um roughly 3 p.m. Eastern. Uh, please follow if you enjoyed, and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye!